New items finally arrived. It has been literally seconds since they have, <laughs> but I'm a lazy man. You guys all know it. So this video might come later. Enough babbling. Before we showcase the update in depth, I just want two seconds of your time and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content. So let's get into it. The first item that has been added to the game is the block zapper. It's really simple actually and you probably all saw it. Nothing really special about it. Just click the block, disappears. They also added an undo option for it whenever you build or zap a block. Yeah, that's right. They added this feature for also builders want. So they updated that as well. It's a really good update. Oh, uh, I wish we had it before. Before I built this. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, twelve, seventeen, eighteen. 17, um, 18 levels of farming areas. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's cool. I'm 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 gonna need it in my in my Iron Man profile. Obviously, this update is good for my Iron Man profile. And the second one is the new enrichments: sea creature chance and ferocity enrichments. Both really useful. The account I'm using right now to spend bits is actually my friend's, uh, and he's a fisherman. Literally, he plays this game to fish. So. It's really gonna be useful for him, since getting the sea creature chance is not that easy. And it gives plus 0 0.3 sea creature chance. I mean, that's you literally get 0 0.3 whenever you upgrade your armor or something. Spend millions. So, it's really good. Rune sack. It's basically like other sacks, but for runes. I think it's a cool idea to keep booster cookies alive and keep our inventory from being filled with those useless... God, I hate runes so much. And four, cultivating enchant. This was the only thing that I was hyped about because I've been told that this enchant was going to give plus 10% double drop chance like all times, but actually it gives 10 farming fortune you might ask that how that is different or why is it a bad thing because double drop chances are always better than farming fortune think of it this way farming fortune is like adding one every time and think as if double drop chances are like multiplying the existing one every time you'll understand how it's better but Cultivating enchant without farming fortune is already very good, considering it gives 10% farming XP boost. My co-op and I literally cried back in the day because how hard it was to get level 50 farming. Literally, my co-op was begging for a way to get level XP faster. And now there is. But the thing is, it doesn't matter anymore because farming level is mostly useless since... First of all, it got nerfed, and second of all, nothing was buffed except Legendary Elephant Pet. And that is the only thing that matters in farming in terms of making money right now. Fifth, Kismet Feather, or however you pronounce it. Kismet, I mean, Kismet means something similar to fate, chance, fortune in Turkish. I don't know if it's the case in English as well, but yeah. Yeah, this is the dungeon reroll item that's been added to the game. And you can see how that's related to this, since you have one chance to get better item with this feather, if you haven't already from your dungeon chest. Even if you reroll into the item that you want, the price of the chest increases by 50%. Now, I'm not sure if it's 50%, but I had one chance of testing it. My chest was 1 million. He was asking me for 1 million to open it. After I used the feather, it asked me 1.5 million. Six. And last one. The auto pet automatically changes your pet depending on the events you set for. 
For 21k bits, you can set two events. As you see, there are a lot of situations here where you might need a pet to change and you might forget to change it so. So this thing is actually really useful. I know it's impossible to add everything to this list, but it would be really good if they could add a situation where we are fishing with our dolphin pet and when we get sea creature it automatically changes to squid and when we kill it it changes back to dolphin am i asking too much am i nah i will also will be making a video of the full potential of the farming uh, with farming level around 50 sorry i can't grind till farming 60 since it's not op as before but i'll be maxing out the tickets and the cultivating so make sure to subscribe if you want to see the video in the future and i hope you enjoyed this one hopefully i'll see you in the next one